Are you a responsible person? Do you get a lot of things done and have a lot of responsibilities? Do you base your self-worth on these responsibilities and how productive you are? Well, today's video is actually a continuation of last week's video, and that was on taking responsibility and accountability for your life. And I discussed this on a level of taking responsibility for your inner workings and how you respond in life. So the reason I've been inspired to do this video and a continuation of last week's video is because somebody wrote a comment on my YouTube video that I know and they made a really, really good point that I actually didn't bring up in my last video. So I'm going to bring it forth in this one. And she made the comment that she always thought that responsibility was being responsible in the world and it was driven by fear and she's understanding that being responsible and accountable for your inner workings is much different. So there is two kinds of responsibilities, right? The one where we're responsible for all our obligations in the world and you know, being an adult. And then there's also the responsibility that you take within understanding your inner workings, what's driving you why you do the things you do, why you choose the things you do. And when you start to become aware of what is driving you, you will start to see what is authentic and what is inauthentic. And when you see what's authentic within you and inauthentic, you will also have a mirror and reflection on the outside of what is also inauthentic. So when we take responsibility for our inner workings, we will change, we will shift. And when we shift, then the outside will naturally shift. That's why when you see or hear of people, or if you have yourself had a spiritual awakening, which in my eyes is actually a breakdown, I don't mean like a breakdown in the way that we're told on the outside world, although it may look like that, we are breaking down the illusions and it usually shows up as a catastrophe on the outside. And what this does is it forces us to take a look at ourselves and our life and the way that we have been living. But we don't have to wait for those big catastrophes to happen in our life that are designed to wake us up and take a deeper look at ourselves, we can actually start doing the inner work before so we don't have to have those big catastrophes show up in our life. And maybe you've gone through a huge breakdown in life where something on the outside has diminished and it feels like a great loss and it's forced you to look within and now you're doing the inner work and you know, you're watching this video and you're watching other videos like it. You are soul searching. But naturally, if you start doing the inner work and you are taking responsibility for your inner workings, then you are going to start to see things on the outside of your life that are not serving you anymore. Things that you chose in your life would have maybe come from an unconscious state where you were driven through certain parts of yourself to believe that that is what you wanted, right? Many people chase the American dream and I use this example a lot because I see our whole society based in this. So many people are driven by money. When we are driven by money, there's also a drive that is based in fear. And when we are driven by fear or lack mentality, then we are not actually living in our highest good. We are not living in our authentic selves. So a big part of becoming responsible within is looking at your fear. Fear is a unconscious state that drives people to believe they need to do certain things to survive or that they need to do certain things or make a certain amount of money to be happy. And many people are actually in survival mode and that is that is valid. That's they can't help it. They, they are in survival mode because they have to do everything it takes to survive in this world, to put food on their table, to feed their children. But there are many people 
who do not have to be living the responsibilities that they have put on their plate and told themselves that they have to do. So much of how we've been conditioned in this world and what we've been told how to live is based in illusion. Why are so many people so unhappy, right? It's not a simple life. Society is very com complicated and everything is about more, 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 more. And the more that people chase this more, 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 the more miserable they become because they keep putting more and more on their plate and they're not actually enjoying life. It's actually counterproductive and it, it makes no sense if you look at a deeper level. And so when you do the inner work, if you start looking to see in your life where you have ties that are unnecessary and how can you undo those ties? I'm talking about the obligations you have in your life that are inauthentic to who you are where you have suppressed your needs so much believing that your needs don't count and that these things in your life are a must how can you do things differently how can you bring more rest and gentleness and ease into your life how can you live more authentically so by looking at our responsibilities that we have on the outside world and also taking responsibility for our inner world, we can combine the two and see what is based in fear and what is actually authentic and how are we going to move forward in our life to step closer to that authenticity so we can start to enjoy life. Everybody deserves to enjoy their lives. Life doesn't have to be really, really hard. Life doesn't have to be a struggle, but it takes getting really, really honest with yourself and looking within and seeing what is driving you. Is fear driving you? Is money driving you? Is lack mentality driving you? How can you look at these and face these fears within so you can overcome them and make different decisions in your life that are authentic to your heart and who you are. So when you take responsibility for your inner world, you will naturally start to look at your responsibilities in the outer world and maneuver and shift so you can design the life that you really want and that you deserve. I'm currently offering free discovery sessions and you can check out my website and book a session with me and the link is in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and share with your friends. My name is Tess. Thanks for watching.